Hi, this is Mr. Nazarian. Our lesson objective today, I can identify prime, composite, and square numbers. Okay, so we are going to look at numbers in uh, three different categories today, prime, composite, and square. The first kinds of numbers we're going to look at are prime numbers. So what does prime numbers mean? What is the definition of a prime number? A prime number only has factors of one and itself. Those are their only factors. So some examples of prime numbers would be five, because the only factors of five are five or five and one. So one and itself. So it's a prime number. There's no other uh, two whole numbers that you can multiply to get five. Eleven would be a prime number. The only factors of eleven are one and itself. Eleven times one. That's it. There's no other factors. And 59 would be another example of a prime number because the only factors that it has is one in itself. Now you think of a prime number. So what's another example of a prime number? A number that would have only factors of one and itself. Okay. Our next kind of number are composite numbers. A composite number has other factors in addition to one in itself. So all numbers have one and themselves as factors. Any number you can think of. A million two hundred ninety seven thousand four hundred twelve. If you do a million two hundred ninety seven thousand four hundred times twelve times one, you're gonna get that, right? So um, that goes for all numbers. But how composite numbers are different is they also have other factors. So eight. Eight times one, yep, so eight and one are factors of eight, but also four and two are also factors of eight. You can do four times two and get eight. So it's a composite number, 8. Another composite number would be 12. Yes, 1 times itself uh, would give you that number, but also there's other factors. 6, 2, 4, and 3 are all also factors of 12. 45 is a composite number because we have factors of 45, 1, but also 15, 3, 9, and 5. So that is a composite number. Um, they have more factors than just themselves in one. And finally today we're going to look at square numbers. So a square number, and this one was a little bit hard for me to come up with what the definition of, of, of wording, but a square number has factors that are identical to each other. In other words, it is a product of a number times itself. So still might not know what that means, so I'm going to give you some examples. Four. Four would be an example of a square number because 2 times 2, so those two identical numbers, those factors together gives you 4, right? So this is the part that makes it a square number. You can see the, both of those factors are the same identical number, right? That gives you 4. Um, so 2 is not a square number. 4 is a square number because it's the product of two numbers that are the same multiplied together. Okay? Um, also 4 times fun, 1, but again, all numbers, 1 in themselves are factors. So really the part that makes them square is the fact, this 2 by 2 part. 9 would be another square number because 3 times 3 gives you 9. And so because it has those factors that are identical numbers that gives you this number, this is a square number. And... Finally, 64. So 64 would be another example of a square number because of 8 times 8. So again, to the, the same number multiplied by itself, that gives you a square number. 64 is the square number. Okay. Um, so why don't you think of another example of a square number, a number where when two numbers are multiplied together to the same number, it gives you a square number. Give me another example of a square number. All right, so th that's what we're going to be looking at tomorrow. Um, we'll work more on that then. See you then. Bye.